and bowel disease is today one of the most economically important disease affecting commercial chickens worldwide. The virus causing gambaro is normally present in the broader house even before the placement of day-old chicks and may induce mortality or immunosuppression after the infection. Paternal immunity has proven to be very efficient in protecting your chickens against gambaro infection from either field or conventional vaccine viruses. When the level of maternal antibodies is high, chicks are completely protected. However, there will be a time when maternal antibodies will be metabolized to levels where the birds become susceptible to infection. Not all day old chicks are born equal. Every one of them has a specific amount of circulating maternal antibodies against the Canberra virus, which makes determining the correct vaccination date one of the main difficulties for classical field vaccination. Even when the vaccination date is correctly determined, there still remains one very important doubt – how to be sure that all brothers will receive a complete dose of the vaccine at the right time. With its innovative immune complex technology, Seva Santé Animal brings to the poultry industry the solution for gambo control, Transmune. In Transmune, the vaccine virus, strain Winterfield 2512, is bound to specific and protective antibodies in an antigen antibody complex. Thanks to its unique formulation, the antigen antibody complexes present in Transmune are very stable, offering complete protection to the vaccine virus. These complexes are presented in a totally soluble, freeze-dried form. Transmune totally solves the difficulties observed when drinking water vaccination on the farm. With Transmune, one single dose administered novo or subcutaneously at the hatchery is enough to protect the brolo throughout its life against any type of Gambaro disease virus. There is no need for any revaccination on the farm. While the vaccine virus of a traditional vaccine can be eliminated by the circulating maternal antibodies, in Transmune the vaccine virus is fully protected by the complex formed with specific antibodies. After vaccination with Transmune, either in ovo or subcontinuously, the antigen antibody complexes enter the bird's blood circulation. On reaching the spleen and thymus, these complexes are trapped by the follicular dendritic cells present in those organs. This attachment is not permanent, and with time, as a consequence of their normal catabolism, the specific antibodies detach from the dendritic cells gradually, releasing the viral particles in the bloodstream. If there is still a high residual amount of circulating maternal antibodies, the first two released vaccine particles will be rapidly identified and neutralized, and after, destroyed by cells of the immune system. As time passes, the levels of maternal antibodies diminish through natural metabolization. In this way, the intact Winterfield 2512 virus released from the dendritic cells will be free to reach the bursa of Fabricius and initiate colonization and multiplication. This local multiplication will give an immediate protection to the bursa of Fabricius and will start the cascade of events involved in a classic immune response which will culminate with the production of productive antibodies against Gambro disease later on. Thanks to its innovative technology, Transmune has the right balance of safety and efficacy for Gambaro disease control. Effective? With billions of doses sold every year, Transmune has demonstrated full protection against the different types of Gambaro virus present around the world. Homogeneous protection. Immune complexes do not interfere with maternal antibodies. There is no need for vaccination day determination. Convenience. Only one injection in the hatchery, either at day one or in ovo, produces better coverage of the flock through massive vaccination with individual adjustment. There is no need for farm revaccination. Safe. 
transmute is totally safe for embryonated eggs or day old chicks with full immunocompetence after vaccine replication in the bursa. 